Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. Let us solve today's DC using Python programming language. The program must accept an integer n and it must accept n unique integers and finally it must print the integer and integer ranges in sorted order separated by comma and it is also given that the ranges must be separated using hyphen. The program must accept an integer n and n unique integers and print the integer and integer ranges in sorted order separated by a comma. The ranges must be separated using hyphen. Now let's consider our first test case. In this test case, 0 to 4, comma, 6, 15, 24 to 25, 45. This will be our output. For getting this output, first we have to sort the given array in ascending order. So, Twenty four hyphen twenty five, comma forty five. Let us sort the given array. Zero, one, two, three, four, six, fifteen, twenty four, twenty five, forty five. This is the given sorted array now let us have a variable called start range which is equal to 0 and end range which is false here now you have to check the condition that 1 minus 0 so 1 minus 0 which is 1 here so the start range becomes end range becomes true and it becomes 1 and 2 minus 1 is 1 so end range becomes 2 here 3 minus 2 is also 1 so end range becomes 3 here 4 minus 3 is also 1 so end range becomes 4 here 6 minus 4 which is not 1 so it becomes false and it will print 0 hyphen 4 so 4 up to 4 0 hyphen 4 comma should be printed and the start range becomes 6 here and the end range becomes false now 15 minus 6 which is not equal to 1 so 6 comma is printed 
end range is false now the start range becomes 15 here now end range becomes false 24 minus 15 which is not equal to 1 so 15 comma is printed now the start range becomes 24 25 minus 24 which is equal to 1 the end range becomes 25 45 minus 25 which is not equal to 1 so end range becomes false so 24 hyphen 25 comma 45 will be printed end range becomes false and start range becomes 45 so 45 will be printed this is our required output now let's consider for our another test case here we may sort the given array in ascending order 1 3 4 5 6 let's have a variable start range comma which is equal to 1 here and end range which is equal to false here now 3 minus 1 which is not equal to 1 so end range becomes false and 1 is 1 comma is printed now start range becomes 3 4 minus 3 which is equal to 1 so end range becomes 4 5 minus 4 which is equal to 1 so end range becomes 5 6 minus 5 which is equal to 1 so end range becomes 6 so 3 hyphen 6 will be printed this is our required output now let us implement our logic using python programming language we must get the input from the user n equal to int of input then we are creating a variable called num list which is equal to list of map of int of input dot split while getting the list itself we are going to sort it now start range comma end range which is equal to num list of num list of 0 comma false so here the num list we are just going to sort while getting the input itself so sorted of list of map of int of input dot split now we shall create a list called ranges to store the numbers here now we are going to use a for loop for index in range one to n so if num list of index minus num list of index minus one which is equal to equal to one means n range is equal to num list of index else if n range is equal to equal to false means we have to append the ranges ranges dot append 
str of start range we are using here string function for our future operation else ranges dot append str of start range plus an iphone plus str of end range and we have to change the start range which is equal to num list of index and end range end range which is equal to false now after printing the last integer we must avoid the comma so we are just uh, using this both uh, cases if and else case again after the for loop after using this again we have to print comma between the integers in the ranges so print comma dot join of ranges we are using join function here join function works only in a string so we used str in the above code so let's run our code This is our first test case. This is our required output. Now let's run our another test case. Hence, this is our required output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.